now i'll put this one here cancel on this then go to the create tab to select the component tool then put it here then i'll select this and pull it over here all right then select the align tool and align these two with this line and after that lock this part with this line and here it is all right now let's open up the family types again and then from the dimensions select the h top and edit it to 500 and then apply let's see now this way we can control the height so here edit it once again this time to 850 and then apply all right and then after this edit the h base to 1500 and apply and let's see what it looks like then okay and back to the left view all right let's go back and put the h base on 1250 and the h top on 1250 as well and then okay and cancel on this all right close this now once again open up the family types and edit the h base to 1250 and the h type for example 750 then apply and this is what it turns out like so now the only part remaining is the parameters i'll select this part of it in here open up the edit type open up the associate family parameter menu and from the properties name this one jack top and then okay okay on this one too and the rest of it is clear so now for the height of this part in order to adjust this we can go here and associate a parameter to it from this menu so now from the top section of this this can have different types as well for the opening of this part we have the out parameter that's set on 55 so now i'll save it and then i'll go to the new family section and I'll look through these to find the metric genetic model and then I'll open it up then I'll go here to the extrusion option then I'll select the base plate and then using an offset of 50 I'll draw from this point in the plan to this one then we can put the thickness on eight millimeters and then finish it up so then i'll select it and edit and then here using an r of six i'll draw this circle here and then i'll select the move tool and then select the circle and move it up here and then we move this towards the right with another 30 all right control z change it to 20. then we'll mirror it vertically on this side and then select these and mirror them horizontally down here then finish it up and then put the extrusion end on six millimeters after that i'll go to the front view and then i'll select the revolve tool and then i'll click on this point and bring it down here to this part so we had 55 for the last one i'll put in 20 for this one after that select the boundary line tool and draw one up to here there we go and then we go to the right and connect it to the structure up here all right now let's edit this one to 28 and then this one 20 all right and then i'll close this part with another line all right 
and then if we go to the 3d view we can see what it turns out like here it is all right so now let's go here to give these a material parameter which i'll be naming top and then save the file and for this one i'll choose a name like top jack supports let's go with that then save it and load into project and close then we place it right here and then i'll select the align tool let me bring this out and then this line with this part all right and then we lock this one with this line as well then back to the front view i'll move this up here then select the align tool and then lock this one with this piece okay and as you can see this is what it looks like so now let's open up the family types and edit the h top to 500 apply then 850 apply again and okay so i'll save the file up to this point and then in the next part i'll explain about another type of doomed.